I've been reviewing this big pile of travel wallets. I'll compare the pros and the cons of each style and show you which ones I like the best. Coming up. Welcome to One Bag Travels. This is a channel dedicated to helping you with one bag carry-on travel by providing backpack, gear reviews, and travel advice. If you'd like to learn more about carry-on travel, then please subscribe to our channel. I first want to start out with the things that we're looking for in a good travel wallet. What are the major styles and what features make them different? My criteria for picking a travel wallet is it needs to be large enough to hold a passport, have easy access by me, but not visible to others. It needs to have breathable, soft fabric, be comfortable to wear, and have a secure strap that won't break or come loose. There are three main styles of travel wallets that I'm gonna be showing you today, and they're all designed to be worn out of sight under your clothes. The first style, like this one by REI, is designed to go around your neck and hang in front of your chest. These work really great, but it's easy to see them if you're wearing tight clothing. This second style of travel wallet is designed to be worn around your waist. It can either be tucked under your shirt or inside your pants. This is a good style, but I have yet to find one that has a really good waist strap. This one that I have by REI has a flimsy elastic band and plastic buckle. I've actually been afraid to use it because I don't trust this buckle not to break. Because I haven't been happy with these styles of travel wallet so far, what I've been looking at lately is something that's gonna be a little bit more low profile than a neck wallet, but a little bit sturdier than a waist strap wallet. This third kind of travel wallet I want to show you checks all the boxes for me. This style is similar to a waistband wallet, but with a sturdy loop that attaches to your belt. The pros of this style are it's low profile, discreet, lightweight, and secure. The cons of this style are you must be wearing a belt. You can attach it to a belt loop with a carabiner, but it's not ideal. These wallets are also difficult to remove. You can't take them off without removing your belt. And it's obvious if you access this wallet in public. The three travel wallets that I wanna show you today are the Eagle Creek Hidden Pocket, the Shack Pack Pocket Vault, and the Lewis and Clark Hidden Travel Wallet. All three of these wallets are constructed from ripstop nylon on the front and a soft, breathable material on the back where the wallet will be touching your leg. The fabric on the Eagle Creek wallet is considerably thinner than the other two, which is one of my favorite things about this wallet. It's thin and lightweight and not as bulky. The Shack Pack wallet is the only one that uses YKK zippers, while the Lewis and & Clark and Eagle Creek both use off-brand generic zippers and hardware. The fabric loops on top of these wallets are designed to attach to your belt. The Shack Pack loop is a thick nylon webbing, while the Eagle Creek uses a thin ribbon material, and the Lewis and Clark loops are a thick shoelace type material. Both the Shack Pack and the Lewis and Clark loops are attached using at least one extra line of double stitching, while the Eagle Creek wallet just uses a single stitch. It's worked really well for me in testing so far, but this is a pretty big oversight in an otherwise great design. Now let's compare the sizes of these travel wallets. Both the Shack Pack and the Lewis and Clark are five inches wide by seven inches tall, with the Eagle Creek being the smallest at four and a half inches wide by six and a half inches tall. My preference is the smallest wallet because it's being worn under your pants, your best protection is preventing others from knowing you're carrying a travel wallet. If you're gonna be using this as your main wallet to hold all your boarding passes and tickets, etc., then this Eagle Creek wallet is gonna be way too small for that. By far the largest one of these is the Shack Pack wallet. It has three zippers instead of just one. The main side zipper with an internal mesh divider as well as these two front pockets. One smaller one for credit cards and the other can store cash without having to fold it. I really like the design of this travel wallet, but it's pretty big and fully loaded. It's gonna be easier for someone to see under your pants and a little less comfortable to carry. 
As far as the internal pockets on these other two wallets, they're both pretty minimalist, with one main pocket, each with an internal mesh divider for storing credit cards. In summary, my favorite of all these is the Eagle Creek Undercover Hidden Pocket. For me, it's the perfect size. It's just large enough to hold a passport, a few cards, and cash. It's the thinnest, most lightweight, and most comfortable wallet to carry. With the one downside being the lack of the double stitching on the belt loops. If you're looking for something a little larger, the Shackpack Travel Wallet is a beast. It's made from super sturdy materials with YKK zippers. This is the best constructed travel wallet and a great choice if you don't mind the extra bulk. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about any of these travel wallets, then please let me know in the comments below. And if you like videos like this, then please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.